Hi! This is going to be a lesson in art from Madeline. And I'm doing something that if you like to do unit studies using a book as the center, you can go to fiveinarow.com and they have a whole lesson plan, a whole curriculum based on reading one book five days in a row and um, working on one subject per day. Uh, they're wonderful. I used five in a row when my children were younger and we actually did the book Madeline. So I'm going to have those links down below. If you like the style, that's because five in a row is wonderful. Unit studies are wonderful. If you see anything wrong, that's because I messed up. Okay. Are you ready? We're going to look at Madeline. Do you remember that we read Madeline? I have a video that you can watch and um, linked to this one. But we're going to look specifically today at the way that the things were drawn. Okay, here so come on down. We're gonna look at this one right here. When he says, nurse, he said, it's an appendix. And we're gonna look at the cross hatching. That's our special word today, cross hatching. And cross hatching is a way for us to draw a picture. And then we add, do you see these scribbles? and then across here, all the way down. And then under the bed, there's cross hatching as well. And it's that scribbling that gives a picture uh, shadow and shade, and it helps it look not as flat. It tells us that there are some things that are standing in front of other things. Here, the nurse is on the telephone and behind her, right here, all of that is cross hatching, that dark scribble. So I want you to look at some of my cross hatchings. This is cross hatching. Here's our word, cross hatching. And each one is cross hatched, each letter in a different way, because there are many, many ways to do cross hatching. You can have just a few lines that are spaced far apart or you can have lots of lines spaced very closely together. This is going to look lighter and this is going to look darker. All of these lines are going in the same direction, but over here I have some lines going this way and I have some lines going in the opposite direction. And over here I have lines going up and down and then I have lines going side to side and these are different colors. Here, I just have lines going side to side. And here, I have them a lot closer together, going up and down and side to side. Now look at this one. This one has four directions. I have them going up and down and side to side and diagonal this way and diagonal this way. And then the last one, I have it really, really tight. All of the lines are very close together on this end. And then as you get over here to this end, the lines are further apart. So it's not the same from here to here. I have it change. So cross hatching can be done in so many different ways. Look at, up here, our letters. I have cross hatching in green to show shadow, okay? So we're gonna do some cross hatching. Do you guys remember our wonderful story, um, Pete the Cat? I found some coloring pages. You can use any coloring book that you like. You can go to websites and get print out coloring pages um, with mom and dad's help. And I'm gonna have some links to um, dltk-kids.com. They have lots and lots of printables. And I also have a link to where I found these two printable um, drawings of Pete the Cat. So I already colored them, but now I'm going to make some shadow using cross hatching. So here is my Pete the Cat. He's all colored. He's got his yellow shirt and his colorful buttons. 
But I'm going to imagine, can you imagine with me, that there is the sun right here. Do you see my sun? And it's shining light towards Pete the cat like that. Now, if the light is hitting Pete the cat here, he's going to be lighter. And then behind him, the, the light can't get there because Pete's standing in the way. So on this side, we're going to make it a little darker and I'm going to use cross hatching. Are you ready? So I'm just going to draw lines. Cross hatching is a really easy way of making shadows. I can add as many lines in any direction that I want and it puts Pete into some shadows and into some light. Now what if I want his buttons to pop off and we're gonna make it dark behind the button. There's some shadow. And see how I can scribble or I can draw straight lines. I can draw lines in different directions. I can even use different colors. I'm gonna say it's dark all behind Pete the Cat. I'm gonna do it with a purple pencil. Do you see that? And I can go in the other direction or I can just scribble back and forth. Scribble, 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 scribble. Do you see that? Now it's all dark back here where the sun can't reach because Pete is standing in the way. Here's the sun. The sun can't get over here. So it's darker. And I show it's dark that way. I can say it's dark at the bottom of Pete because the sun can't get to the bottom. You see that? And maybe under each button, his buttons are big. So I'm gonna add some shadow behind his button by cross hatching, drawing these scribbling lines. What do you guys think? Now we can see that Pete isn't standing all by himself in a plain white room. There's things behind Pete. Let's look at some more cross hatching from the book. Are you ready? This was on page seven. We're gonna look at page um, 11. See now, this is a bright room. The light is probably up here by the balloon. And so there isn't a whole lot of shadow, but we see a little bit of shadow over here behind the bed. Do you see that? Do you see that? And a little bit on the bed, cross hatching, cross, 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 cross. And under Madeline, she's standing up and she's blocking the light. So cross, 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 cross. And under the pillow, cross, 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 cross. And a little bit on the vase. Do you see that? And that gives, that shows that the room is pretty bright. Remember over here, there was a lot more cross hatching over here. This looked like a darker room because of all the cross hatching. Look at how dark it is behind the nurse. Lots of cross hatching there. We've got one more that we're going to look at. Um, page 13, look at this one. Miss Clavel is coming into the room. And remember that it's nighttime because all of the girls are supposed to be going to sleep. So she's coming into the room and it's light outside the room and dark inside the room. So we have big cross hatching in here and up here to show behind the door, it's dark in the room and Miss Clavel is coming in with the light. See the front of her face is dark because she's looking in the room and the back is light. 
Her hands are dark, but her back is light. And then we have cross hatching down here. And that's the beginning of the beds. Do you remember over here, if we look over here, this is where she's coming in the door and then there are the beds. So here we see her coming in the door and there are the beds and she wants to know why are the girls so sad? There you go. So now you guys have a turn to go and do some cross hatching of your own. You can do it in any coloring book. You can draw your own pictures and add cross hatching and you can do it in different colors. You can do it with crayons or pencils or markers. You can do colored pencils like I did, or you can do regular pencils that you might use for school. I would love to see your cross hatching. If you want to post a picture for me to see, that would make me very happy. I hope you guys have a great day cross hatching today. Bye.